So this one right here, this is called my summer beasts from the Middle East. These are the ones in my collection that I suggest and I think you should have in your collection. Let's get it, let's go. What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Ace Ben Dada with Smell Better Fragrance. I am your host Ace Ben, and I'm back with another video. Bang! Over here we talk about fragrances and all things to improve your lifestyle. Why? Because we want you to be better. I want you to think better. I want you to feel better. And I want you to smell better. You know, if you find this content interesting, do me a favor. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Help the channel grow. Share this content and leave a comment down below. Hit that notification bell so you'll never miss a show. Let's get it. Let's go. We're going to start off with the first one. The first one is a good one that I love. I, I admire. I adore this fragrance, man. And it's from the house of Mason Alhambra. And this is... Jean Lo. Immortal. Magnetic cap. If you don't put it on the right way, to kick it back off. Clicks into place. Okay, sprayer. But I'll tell you one thing about this juice, man. I sprayed it in the air. It's gonna last. It's gonna stay here for the rest of the day. I promise you. I promise you that. But let's talk about the fragrance, man. Immortal, John Lowe, Mason Alhambra. It's their version of Louis Vuitton, La Mensite. Yo, it's a pleasant and refreshing type of scent, man. It's mass appealing. It's an attention grabber. Yo, you got this grapefruit note, man, this ginger note that makes this fragrance stands out, man. It's sharp, it's fruity, it's masculine. It smells absolutely amazing, man. The opening is quite possibly one of the best that I've ever smelled, and it does linger throughout the air and through the lifespan of this fragrance. I mean, it's a long-lasting fragrance, and it's great for high heat. It's from the house of Afna, and this is Tarathi Blue. It's similar scent profile to the Immortal, and it, and it, performance is very similar as well man you know but it's been compared to blue de chanel but i don't get those vibes at all um most notably it's, it's been compared to bulgaria's tiger never smelled that fragrance but if it smells anything like this that's a great fragrance but i don't need it because i got this fragrance and it's it's a good one i love it i mean you got top notes of citruses the middle notes are amber, and you got some woodsy notes. And then in the base, you got some musk, some patchouli, and some other spices, man. This is a great scent for the summer, for the spring. I mean, it's fresh, it's citrusy, it's musky, and um, yo, it gives out good. It gives off good vibes. It's balanced. It's kind of oriental, and it's kind of fruity at the same time, but it's pleasant. It's got the citrusy opening. It kind of smells like grapefruit, even though grapefruit is not listed. That's what I get from it. But man, it's a great performer. It's long lasting. It's a notable, it's a noticeable fragrance. It's invigorating and a very addictive type of scent, man. It's a very good one from the house of Afna. Tarathi Blue. Now the third fragrance on my list is from the house of Latafa as well. And this is Mahir Legacy. Atomizer is not the greatest, but it, it works. It gets the job done. And this is a clone of Parfums de Marley Sibley. But it's cheaper. It's stronger. And it lasts longer than me. Yo, it's minty and it's woody. And it's, it's very heavy on the lavender. But it opens up with some citruses. And, and this fruity note. Some fruits like grapefruit, some juniper berries, and some pineapples in the top. I mean, this fragrance, man, it's, it's refreshing. It's luxurious type of scent, man. It's attractive and mass appealing. It's very versatile fragrance. It's, it's used and good for any occasion. Yo, it's a compliment getter, a good performer for the warm weather. You gotta have this in your collection if you don't have it already. All right, now the next fragrance I got for you, man, from the house of Armoff. This is Siage. Yeah, it's the, it's the club dinner week line. This might be next to the best in the line, to be honest with you. Cap was on the tight. And I have not worn this in a while. I gotta put it to use for real. Great atomizer. Floral. 
very good, fresh. It's woody, it's musky. Yo, this fragrance in my opinion, man, is much better than the one that's cloning. I mean, okay, it's not, it, it doesn't have that Creed, it doesn't have the Creed type of quality, but it lasts long. Trust and believe, I had a sample of the Silver Mountain Water, and I tried it side by side, and my mouth lasted longer. This is a beautiful fragrance. It's a lovely, fresh scent that's easy on the pocket, man. And it's a beast. It's radiant, it's fresh. I mean, this will get you noticed. This will get you compliments. This is called Mr. Steel Girl. I mean, it's a comforting scent, man. It's very seductive and it's very alluring. It's a hypnotic type of fragrance. And the central on this man, the siage from this fragrance, man, is like no other. Hence the name, siage, our moth. Club Danny Weed, intense line, man. Beautiful fragrance, beautiful, beautiful presentation. This bottle is like no other, man. God, look at that. Put the cat back on. One more time. Oh my goodness, that's that's so good. Gotta put this in a rotation for the summer. If you don't have it, go out there and get it. Next fragrance on the list, man. From the same house, Club Danny Weed, intense man line, and this is Milestone. I'm just not noticing my tassel broke on it. I can't believe that. I hadn't even worn it that much. And for the tassel to break, that's, that's surprising. But that's the quality control issue that you might get with some of these clone houses. Never mind that. Let's talk about the juice. Yeah, this one opens up very bright, very fruity, and it's really airy and breezy, man. It's a beautiful scent, man. It smells clean and it smells refreshing. It's fruity, like I said, fresh summer scent, summer fragrance, man. With the, it got a salty sea breeze type in the background, man. It smells just like you're out at the ocean, man. Man, I love this smell. I love the performance on this, on this fragrance, man. It's really incredible. And the juice is incredible as well. It's very noticeable and an enjoyable type of fragrance, man. It's great for the hot summer days. This is a Middle Eastern beast of a fragrance for the summer, man. Summer heat, Middle East beast. That's what this is. Or moth, clubbed in the week, milestone. Very good fragrance. Put it in your collection. Trust me. Next fragrance I got on the list, man, is from the House of Fragrance World, and this is Imperium. Yep. You know it, you seen it, you heard about it. This is their take. On Roja Does Elysium Parfum Cologne. Such a beautiful scent profile, man. This one is fresh. It's very good. It's very versatile. It's good for casual occasions, formal occasions. Just, just good for the summer heat, man. Put it on, man. This is a vibrant and captivating fragrance, man. It's gonna work. It has this nice citrusy opening, and the magic starts in the dry down, though. All the notes start to reveal themselves in the dry down, man, creating this most beautiful scent, man. This one is very mass appealing, just like the original, and it gets a lot of compliments. This is the perfect fragrance for the high heat situation, man. Again, from Fragrance World, Imperial. Yo, a very good clone of the original. Trust and believe. I got a video on the comparison. You should check it out if you hadn't already. Yo, Imperium by Fragrance World, very good. Now the next fragrance on my list, man, is from the House of Fragrance World as well. I hadn't had this one in my collection too long, but guess what? It has moved to the top of the list. I love this fragrance, man. And this is um, called Royal Blanc. Glorious Oud, Royal Blanc by the House of Fragrance World. And this is their interpretation of Initio's Must Therapy. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful job. Very well done. Great fragrance, man. This one is, it's wood. It's a woody floral and musky type of fragrance, man. It is a must have in your collection, man. I've waited so long to get my nose on this one, man. I've heard the hype about it for over a year. And then when they finally brought it back out, man, I jumped on it and I got it immediately, man. And I'm so glad that I did because this is one truly amazing scent profile. It's great. You should have it. I should have a backup bottle. 
I thought about buying a backup bottle, but when I went back online to look for it, it was sold out. Man, if they put it out there again, I'm gonna get a backup bottle. I promise you that. This fragrance, man, it's it's clean. It's fresh. It's great for warm weather. It has good longevity and a decent sillage with it, man. It's a very inviting fragrance, man. It's, it's so smooth, it's so sexy, it's so sensual, man. This is a summertime heat, one that you need in your collection. This fragrance right here is a mood lifter. It's bright, it's a mood enhancer. It's delightful, it's simply beautiful fragrance. Man, get this fragrance if you can, man. Put your nose on it, get a sample, do something. But this is a great clone and a great, a great interpretation of must therapy. It's well done fragrance. Well done fragrance world. Good job. Now the next fragrance on the list, man. It's from the house of Rosasi. And you already know, it's that Hawass. Man, it's a good fragrance, man. Great fragrance, great fragrance. Of course it has that Invictus DNA, but it's not a clone of Invictus. This actually came out before Invictus did. So, only difference is it has a little bit of spicier effect to it, a little bit more spicy than what the Invictus will give you, you know. But it's fruity, it's citrusy, it's aquatic, it's, it's sweet, and it's fresh. Like I said, it's spicy, man. Yo, my goodness, man, this fragrance has a beautiful array of notes. I'm talking about notes like apple, some cinnamon, plum, some cardamom, some, some orange blossom, some ambergris, some musk, some driftwood, and some patchouli. It's a strong, it's a masculine, but yet it's fresh and elegant and woody at the same time. This right here might be the best summer beast from the Middle East in my lineup and probably in yours too if you have it. This fragrance is unique and it's a great scent for all occasions. It's, it's a good performer, very good longevity. It's appealing, it's a compliment magnet. I mean, again, it's another great Middle Eastern beast for high heat situations, man. If you don't have this in your collection, go get it, man. Hawass by Rosasi. All right, the next one on my list, man. It's from the house of uh, Mason Alhambra. And this is Porto Neroli. Y'all know what that is. Y'all know what this is. Whew. Beautiful, beautiful scent profile. Gorgeous scent profile. Porto Neroli by Mason Alhambra, man, as they take on Tom Ford's Neroli Portofino. But this is a, it's a, it's a fresh, green, aromatic, and citrusy fragrance, man. You got the primary notes in it as being Neroli, some lemon, and some mandarin orange. Yo, this is a clean and fresh Neroli. It's amazing for hot weather. It's bright and it's uplifting. It's a refreshing fragrance. It's pleasant and it's a clean scent. It's a crowd pleaser. This fragrance is lovely, man. Yo, it's sparkly, it's tart, and it's effervescent. It smells clean, it smells fresh, and it's lush. Yo, it's juicy, it's elegant, and breezy. It's sweet, but not too sweet. This is summer in the bottom, bottom line. I'm aware that it's gonna be discontinued, but there's other variations. I mean, of course, you got the Tom Ford version. You got the Just Jack version. You got the Neroli Woods by um, Banana Republic. Yo, but get this before it's gone if you can. It's on Amazon right now for $29. I'm not sure about the discount sites at the moment, but I know it's on Amazon. Did I say, no, it was $29. I think it might be about $36 now. If you can, get out there and get this fragrance, yo. Last but not least on my list, it's from the House of Paris Corner from the Hermel line, and this is Ultra Citrus. Whoo, so this one right here, man, they got the notes on the bottle, so I'm gonna read them off to you, man. This song is that. You got top notes of bergamot, lemon, verbena, and lemon. In the heart, you got some citron, pedigree, neroli, lavender, and sage. And in the base, you got some vetiver, ambergris, and tuncan bean. 
man. Ultra Citrus, man. It's, it's crisp, clean, fresh. It's the most beautiful citrus bomb that I've ever smelled. It's effervescent and it's a quite linear scent. Yo, it's, it's fit for any and all occasions. It's a, it's a very good fragrance. It's a mood lifter. It's elegant. It's classic citrus scent with slightly herbal notes. Um, a little bit of florals in here, but to me, it's just a citrus bomb. Bottom line, yo, for sure, this is from Summer Heat. One that you should have in your collection. Try it out. It's very well done. Oh, yeah, I think this, um, I did do some research and I think this is a clone of um, a Guerlain fragrance, which is called oh, La Finchie. This is what this is cloning. But never smelled that fragrance, but overall, this is a good one on its own. Man, you should try it. Ultra Citrus from the house of um, Paris Corner, Amir. So that's about it for me, guys. If you have any of these fragrances, let me know. If not, I suggest you give them a try. Good energy, positive vibes, safe lives. Like always, follow the plan. Be better, think better, feel better, smell better. With that being said, I'm out. Yo, hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Help the channel grow. Hit that notification bell and leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you're rocking. Like always, I thank you for watching. I'm Ace Benz. AKA Ace Ben Data with Smell Better Fragrance. Until next time, smell good, smell better, and we'll smell you later. Peace.